We can't tell our people they can vote yes on abolishing slavery unless at the same time we can tell them that you're seeking a negotiated peace. It's either the amendment or this Confederate peace you cannot have. The film Lincoln stars Daniel Day-Lewis as the famous president, and his role in the film is garnering rave reviews. His tall and lanky stature lent perfect physicality to the role, and his acting skills took care of the rest. The film opens at the New York Film Festival this weekend with wider release the following weekend. Daniel Day-Lewis said he doesn't think he'll ever love someone he never met as much as he loved Abraham Lincoln. I felt two things at one and the same time. One was a sense of immeasurable uh, privilege at having been enabled to explore that man's life. And the other, directly as a result of that, was a sense of, of great sadness and loss that, that that time allowed me was now over. Um, because he did become, for me, there's never been a human being that I never met that I loved as much as him, ever. I doubt there ever will be. So how does it feel to wrap up such a monumental performance? Not quite sure what to do with yourself when it's finished. The investment has usually, for most of us, been, a, if not total, then close to total investment of that period of our lives in the process of telling that particular story. So it's very hard to conceive of any kind of a life after it. Of course, there is one waiting, usually quite impatiently. Daniel Day-Lewis has an all-star cast to work with in Lincoln with Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Sally Field, and Hal Holbrook. The United States of America. Do we choose to be?